Hello everyone and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and today I bring you a review of a Minute RPG, a pocket role-playing game. This is something that came out of Kickstarter a while ago. And to be honest, I don't think it is that widely available, but I wanted to review it nevertheless, because although I haven't particularly liked it, I think it has some very interesting uses. Minute RPG promises to have a RPG in your pocket, which physically it certainly is what it does. Um, what's inside? Well, let's, let's let's take a look first at the components, shall we? Uh, this thing was uh, said it, it was crowdfunded quite successfully a while ago. I think it's still available, and I believe it costs about thirty dollars, give or take. It comes in a little, very, very nifty little plastic box. And inside we get the rules, which is just a little booklet on two sides, even though you can find more rules. Uh, in fact, the full rules at minuterpg.com. But this is what comes with the game itself. Um, I'll take a look at them in depth in a minute. And after that, we have a bunch of cards, square cards, with some icons. And those cards are divided in three promos or extras that were unlocked during the Kickstarter. And then four decks of cards, one in green, another one in purple, another one in yellow, and another one in kind of reddish pink. We also get four dice that are meant to shine in the dark. They're meant to be luminescent. I I have to say, I haven't taken a proper look yet. So I don't know exactly what they're meant to be, uh, but there you go. Uh, I don't know, something fun, I, I guess. Uh, something interesting. So how is this meant to play? Good question. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. This is what the instruction says. Okay, the rules manual say, okay, you are meant to be taken. If you are the GM, you're meant to be taking four cards, one from each deck. And the threat is in the red, so an insane king, Cthulhu, wow, um, sentient AI or pirates. Those are meant to be the subtitles. They are meant to be the threats. The story focus is going to be the blues. It's going to be a fighter, the sickness outbreak, the heist or the space treaty. By the way, the little crown means that you're playing in a fantasy world. The little magnifying lens means that you're playing in an investigation uh, or mystery game. This little Borg or cyborg here means it's a cyberpunk game. And the space rocket means that it is meant to be a space game. So that, that's meant to be it. Um, if we go on to the uh, blue card, sorry, into the green card, then it's, this is a scene. This is where it's meant to be taking place. So either the dungeon, a tomb, a darknet, or a wormhole, and with the yellow, it's a story complication. So it's either a traitor, there is a trait greed, contamination, warp tale. That's it to set the scene and to basically set what the tone of the game is going to be like, you know, the overall thing is going to be like. But that's it. The next thing we have is resolving challenges, handling combat, pools, which is an advanced thing, consequences, which is an optional rule, and superpowers, which is advanced. And then extra is the curse of lycanthropy. That's it. This is not enough. This is not enough. Uh, it, it doesn't explain if you're meant to be playing this in scenes, when you're meant to be rolling your dice, when something is interesting for a, a challenge or it isn't, how long it's meant to take. There is no particular goal. There is a scene more or less said. There is a threat. 
But there's no goal, there's no nothing. Nothing at all. Now, I am a massive fan of narrative storytelling games. Absolutely love them. But they all need some sort of guidance, because to be perfectly honest, if you give this game to somebody who has no clue whatsoever about these games, they wouldn't have a clue what to do. Or they would have to invent a whole theme program from scratch, and it could be a really unpleasant experience. So this falls very, very short in that exactly the same. That this has been done as a little piece of paper. It could have been done with another couple of pages just to explain, to divide it into scenes, etc. So as it is, I need to take the rules from the different narrative games and apply them to here, not to the world building itself, which also is necessary, because this thing doesn't tell you anything about building the world that this game is going to be played in and how to play it. So from that point of view, this is incredibly half-baked. I don't know if there are more rules in the website. I haven't taken a look at the reason why, because this should provide absolutely everything I need to play this game to the fullest. That's it. If you give me these rules, but I have to go online to get the rest of the rules, you're not giving me a finished product. So it's not a good idea. I'm sorry, but this, as it stands, falls really, really flat. However, if you are so inclined as to take a world building strategy of your own, or you want to experiment with your own world building and apply this to your own world, that could work. If you want to apply these to your own set of rules or your narrative structure, that could apply. Even though as it stands is not good enough as a minute RPG, it really isn't, as a tool, as a development tool for your own game, it could actually work very well in combination with something else. Do I think this is worth the $30 that you will have to pay to get your hands on it as a game? No. There are way, way better options out there to have a game that you can prepare in just a few minutes and get going. But as a tool, to develop your own game, yeah, this could be what you need to give you that little spark of inspiration and get yourself going. So, yeah, kind of cold on this one. I cannot... No, I'm sorry. As a game, I cannot recommend it. It's a shame because it has an awful lot of potential, but it needs for this to be just a tiny little bit bigger just a tiny little bit bigger, and this to be a little bit more elaborate. And then it would be brilliant. Thank you so much for being there. It is truly, truly appreciated. And I would like to know, please, what are your best tools to develop your own RPG? I'd love to hear what you have to say. But until the next time, thank you once again, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.